Hi guys! I have a new camera. Uh, got the G7X, so I'm real now. I'm a real vlogger. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if this video comes out kind of weird, it's because I have not read the manual completely yet. So <laughs> I have no idea how to do the settings or stuff. So we're just gonna go with it because I wanted to do a video. I'm already late on getting the video. So today we're talking about the Disney dining plan, which we did in our May trip how it works, is it worth it for us, do we even like it, so we're kind of going to do a review for this video of where we ate, especially table service wise, we'll go over counter service, but I think table service are where people are most interested in for the dining plan, because you know you have to do the advanced dining reservations, and you know 180 days out you could book something and then get to the trip and like hate it, so we're going to go through that, firstly, did you like the dining plan? I really liked it. I think it was nice to pay for everything right up front and not have to worry about it while we were there. Um, that definitely outweighed the cost of it up front. Yeah, did you have any, did you like not like it? Was there anything you like didn't like about it? Um, I wish that you had the option to pick between an appetizer and a dessert. It was just convenient. It was convenient. Everything besides tips were paid for. Uh, you could pick wherever you wanted to eat, basically. Mm -hmm. And we did save about 40 or $50, and I'm gonna be doing a separate video on how we save that money because most people are always like, gotta eat the steak, gotta eat the lobster, but I'm vegan, she's vegetarian, and Haley basically kinda ate what we did or ate like chicken and not like the most expensive thing on the menu, and we still came out ahead. So right. there are definitely tips and tricks to do that if you're not going to be eating the most expensive thing or a big eater, so. We like sit down restaurants, so I think that if we didn't like, if we were to do a trip where we didn't want to do sit-down restaurants, I wouldn't get it. No, but, I would not get the quick service. Yeah, but for what we like to do nice big sit-downs, it was really nice. So we're just going to kind of go through everything we did. We were there for nine days, or eight nights, so we had eight table service, eight quick service credits, and then 48 snacks, which we used all of them. But, yeah, we didn't have any food left over which we realized we could have probably eaten the deluxe just because we liked to eat three meals a day. Yeah. Which is kind of surprising because everybody was like, it's so much food. And then at the end, we even paid out of pocket for like- Well, to be breakfast. fair, we did have long days. Yeah. Like we were awake for 22 hours one day. So okay, like, okay. if we were doing like 11 to eight only, I could get why it would be yeah. too much food. But like, if you're doing long days where you're eating three meals, yeah, I, it's, I think that's a lot. We could have eaten like I had to three buy, square meals a day. I had to buy a kid's meal at one point just because we were running out of credits because we were just eating so much. Yeah. So, getting into it, our first night we ate at Ohana. 10 out of 10, so good, we did it twice this trip. And yeah. I'll explain why we did it twice later. People, but people say it's overrated. I think it was great and they sat us right by the window and we were there for the fireworks which is really nice because they play the music into the into restaurant. the restaurant during the fireworks and you could kind of see them a little bit yeah so where it we was, were sitting. even if it, the fireworks weren't happening we had a nice view of the pool um chef oh um, chef boone he was awesome uh super cool about figuring stuff out for me in summer since ohana is very meat based but if you're vegan or vegetarian you're gonna get um bread you can get if you're vegetarian you can get the welcome bread if not you'll get like the tapioca buns a salad you'll get a bowl of noodles noodles um and veggies and tofu and then i got like the tofuti ice cream and the cookies enjoy like cookies so it was for the three of us it was with tax 137 dollars and 39 cents which like right there that's like Two days of the dining plan for two of us just with one meal yeah which is like crazy for our magic kingdom day that was our first day we used a counter service credit at be our guest for lunch i think this is the trip that i kind of realized that be our guest is overrated I, it's not that it's overrated it's same with ohana like i'm reaching the point where like we just eat it so much that like because we can only eat one thing at be our guest yeah i like i didn't even eat all of it like i have like an aversion to it now because the quinoa salad, that's all you can eat. It's delicious when you have it so many times, it's just like, I want to try something new. Yeah. Really good though. The yeah, master's cupcake is good. Yeah, and if you can't have dairy, they have like sorbets, which are nice, but I don't know. I don't think I would do lunch again. I don't really even like the, that dish anymore. Yeah. Uh, and we did breakfast later on in the trip, and that just 
if you're not on the dining plan. For a counter service credit, it's not yeah. much I mean, we could talk about the breakfast now. I, yeah. I wasn't, it was something that we wanted to try and since we had the dining plan, we were like, oh, we can do it because we're, we're not gonna pay $27 normally. Yeah. It was eh. I, it was eh for the fact that we got waffles, like allergy waffles or whatever, uh, and they weren't even Mickey waffles. They were like Vans gluten-free waffles, something like that. They, yeah. were, they weren't even, I don't know why, Beer Guest is such a, a well-themed restaurant, good food, like, you know, for first timers or if you like, can get all the food. But for them not to have Mickey waffles, I'm just like, breakfast was okay. It was okay. okay. It was just sweet. And then we had pastries. So it yeah, was, it was sweet, a lot sweet, of sugar sweet. and bread. And it was just, I don't know. I wouldn't do the breakfast I over again. Yeah, no. I, I do want to try dinner, but those reservations are yeah literally impossible. Also, I don't like ratatouille. I don't like ratatouille. So like, <laughs> but yeah, so that's our review. A good thing they were quick service credits. Um, yeah. I do want to try dinner eventually, but for right now, be our guest. Probably won't see you for a right. little bit. <laughs> Studios, we did the sci-fi drive-in. I really liked it. I liked it. I like don't think I would be itching to do it again, but they had vegan milkshakes, which was ooh so good. So good. I can't handle dairy, a lot of dairy, so that was incredible. It was so good. I really liked the car I liked the dr I liked every all the ambiance about it but like the food was just like oh. see I liked the ambiance and I, we had falafel burgers uh if for if you're vegan they just take off I think it was like tzatziki or something but they the have falafel like, burger was really I've never seen falafel served like, with like, a, like a burger patty before and they had like really steak good. cut fries which were yeah good and Haley had a caprese sandwich that looked really good and an Oreo milkshake that looked amazing oh, so good so the only thing I did not like about that restaurant was that you really couldn't talk to each other. There was three of us, and because how the cars were set up, Summer was in the first section by her, like her, the first two seats by herself, and then it was me and Haley. And since like the movies are playing, and I don't know, I just like felt like I couldn't really like. Talk I liked that much. I liked about that because I liked that it was a, it was a time where we could just sit and watch a movie and not not that I like we just didn't have to entertain or talk to each yeah, other. Yeah, I get just it. Take a breather. Relax. I really liked the ambiance inside, but like it didn't grab me as a like I have to do it again. But I would, I would definitely out of everything, do it again. Out of everything in Hollywood Studios, I would definitely eat there again. But like it's not a uh, for dying to go. Yeah, for the three of us, two of us got milkshakes, and we all got you know things for around fifteen dollars uh, for an entree. It was about seventy eight dollars. So I would definitely do this if I were on the dining plan because it's not an expensive table service mm -hmm. and it's a unique experience in Hollywood Studios where I read Hollywood and Vine is like the death of everybody. Sorry to hear beeping and stuff. Um, Why and is it the death of everyone? Hollywood like and that? Vine, if you, if anybody watches the Diz or the Diz Unplugged or anything like that, apparently Hollywood and Vine is like the worst restaurant in Disney property. Comment down below if you've ever been there because I don't know. I'm too afraid to try it because I've heard it's like literally trash. But <laughs> um, besides sci-fi, you have like 50s prime time and then like Mama Melrose. I would choose sci-fi. Yeah. That's just me. Next table service was the Tusker House. And we did the dining package with Rivers of Light, which we all don't remember because we were delusional. I would recommend if you want to do Rivers of Light and you want, if you're on the dining plan, that because it saved us from having to wait and that the river the light boarding area is insane yeah for standby so if you want to do a sit down restaurant in animal kingdom and get river the light it's just like one less fast that you have to worry about and it's one table service credit and for the three of us with tax it was 166 dollars yeah for the giant for Crazy. the ticket package i loved tusker house I realized, and we'll talk on this later, that we don't like character dining. We like the restaurants that character yeah. dining exist at, but we don't like character dining. dealing with the characters. However, I would put up with it for Tusker House. They were really cool. We would just be like, oh, like we had our autograph books at the end of the table, and we would just be like, oh, like no pictures, like it's fine, like and they, the characters were really yeah. just like. I don't even think I do autograph books next time. I think I would just do hug, hug, leave. Yeah. Um, but the food is it worth it. So, so good. It's a buffet. Uh, I didn't have a chef come out, but they have an allergy booklet and you open it up, it's like a huge menu. Mm -hmm. And it's every single thing at each bay and it has all the eight major allergies and it'll have a check mark if it doesn't have it or an X if it does. So I was able to just kind of like skim through it, 
see, obviously you would have me eat it, didn't get it, but like just kind of skim through, see, yeah. and there was tofu, rice, bread, um, oh my god, I had so much, like a lot, ton of vegetables, potatoes, it yeah, was there was amazing. a lot of variety, um, the jalapeno cornbread that they had there is probably my favorite thing. It's not me. It's like the one bread that wasn't vegan, but, but she I, raved about it in the vlog. I really liked the food there. Another character dining, it's new, Bon Voyage, with uh, Flynn, Rapunzel, Ariel, and Prince Eric. Um, I did not think that this char the characters were strong. Literally, there was one point where like, I forget which prince it was, it was either Flynn or Prince Eric, like literally cut off me taking another photo of him and Haley. That's like something I distinctly remember and oh, really? I was like, um, I'm okay, okay sir. I told Prince Eric, I was like, you were my favorite when I was a kid and he's like, can I get a hug? And he's like, I'll give you a hug and I was like, yeah, we can do that. Um, I did like though that they sent the characters out in a way that they got them all done run right after another so for the rest of the meal we didn't have to like work. that's our thing with character meals is we don't like worrying like when they're coming can we right. go or not like I like them like at 1900 Park Fair they all came at once they all came in the beginning it was perfect they might have just had an off day with the characters that were there I actually really liked the food Ooh. and the boardwalk itself I would do it again. Also, I mean, I like Flynn and Prince Eric. Yeah. We might have just gotten off camera yeah. that day. It wasn't off funny, but the food was really, really good. You got, it comes, you get like, a, don't you get like a part that? So you get a pastry plate that comes in a little frying pan, which is really cute. Um, and then you get either a parfait or a fruit cup. Okay. And then you get an entree. So I got, me and Haley both got, they have blue, they have pancakes that were literally like this thick. They were stacked with blueberries and powdered sugar. And then I got, I forget, I feel like my chef's name was Jean. I could be wrong. You got like 12 courses. Yeah, he was like, do you like fruit? And I was like, yeah, oatmeal, yeah. Mickey waffles, potatoes, vegetables, asparagus. And I was all saying yeah to this stuff. And I was like, whatever you make, that'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I got, an, the appetizer was a small thing of oatmeal with maple syrup and what was it? Fruit. And then I got two Mickey waffles, an entire plate of asparagus that tasted like steak. It freaked me out. They were so good. And I then like I steak seasoning on it. Yeah, I know. But like it was uh, like mind blowing. And then a plate of potatoes with a bunch of um, vegetables with like pizza seasonings that made it right. taste like pizza. And it was amazing. Also, I would go back again because now that the dining plan has alcohol, they have a bunch of like mimosas, bellinis, bloody marys. And I didn't get one because I was like, I really don't need to spend like nine dollars on a mimosa and we're going to epcot so yeah or like eleven dollars on a bloody mary but if it's in the dining plan you actually get included yeah i would recommend especially for kids like princesses where pencil and ariel were really fun. yeah the princesses were fine the princesses were like i think they also realized how <laughs> how in love they we were, were they probably they probably were thirsty i can't they've probably had bad experiences with teenage girls that they were like all right we need to watch out like whatever it was 108 109 dollars with tax for all of us so another great use of the dining plan okay so my birthday vlog we went to hoopty doo so we used two table service credits uh hoopty doo we got category one seating we're literally on the stage we yeah. were right in the front our table and we were right next to the stairs as well yeah it was the show was amazing if you're vegan or vegetarian don't go for the food go for the show right. it was 72 dollars for two table service credits also go for the alcohol, unlimited alcohol. I, my, oh God, what was our waitress's name? I don't know, but she, so it's, it's, this is gonna make me sound like I only went to Disney for the alcohol, but they said like all you can drink beer and sangria, which is included in the price. So tax tip and all you can drink is $72, which is two table service credits equals out to about $70-ish, a little yeah. bit more. She, I didn't, I finished one drink and I was like, oh, when you see our waitress, like, let me know, I want to get a second one. Finishing the sentence, she comes out with a... She <laughs> has one already on the table. She did that twice. Yeah. So, really good service. I, the mashed potatoes were incredible. The pasta was, eh, they have a sandwich. Yeah, we got dish. like a, pa we got a pasta, we got a pasta dish. They have like mama's alternative dining and it was a huge, like literally the plate was we inside of my head. We could have, the three of us could have shared that. Yeah. Pasta. So, um, I think it's it worth, fine. if you're on the dining plan, to go for the 8.30 show. I think it's worth category one seating, especially yeah. if you drink. And the shortbread was really good, and the show was great. The show was great. I got this Memorial Day too, and they had all the veterans stand up, and I like cry I cried. There was like a World War, wasn't there a World War II vet? Oh, he's the cutest Yeah, there thing. was like definitely a really old 
and a Korean vet, and they were yeah, like yeah. standing up. We all cheered for them, and I like literally started <laughs> blowing. <laughs> so yeah, they go through like everybody's birthdays and anniversaries, and it's just like it's just a fun, fun show. So I would definitely recommend it on the dining plan. Yeah. Our last two table service credits were originally supposed to be Crystal Palace and Boma, um, but we had burned ourselves out on the trip, per usual, uh, and. I had to do some rearranging, so I pushed our be our guest reservation up a little bit in the morning. And then instead of doing Crystal Palace, we just left Magic Kingdom earlier, and I was able to nab literally at 11 o'clock the night before a 3:50 Ohana reservation. Mm -hmm. I figured we like the restaurant, we want to do it again. It's a great use of a credit. Let's do it. So we did that instead, and then to stay at the hotel longer on our last day, we went to Sanaa. Uh, instead of Boma, which is probably the best decision that we could have ever made. Ohana, second time, per yeah. usual, incredible. Yeah. But let's move on to Sanaa. Sanaa was, so Animal Kingdom is my favorite, we've discussed this before. Animal Kingdom Lodge is my favorite resort, and we've never, we went to Jumbo House last time, we didn't go, we've never been to Donnie, so that was really Eating. fun. We've never stayed there. Oh, <laughs> no, one day, but we never stayed there, and so Sanaa was really exciting they put us at a table we got really good luck with tables yeah this whole trip they put it's, we didn't realize that it literally was like on a safari they put us right up against the window and there was a giraffe that came and, and stuff like that and we heard about the bread service but they were like you know it's not on the dining plan but we emma was like you know what let's do it like well i'll okay. pay i'll yeah. pay for it it was 11 bucks the bread service 15. i mean we saw it was 15 for the nine yeah okay so we saw a couple next to us literally order wine and the bread service and leave like people come for that yeah it was so good and you don't think it's gonna be that good because it's like okay it's some non bread with like some dips so now it's never really on my radar i because we only had ever seen like go to boma go to boma go to boma like for your first trip you're gonna see like go to boma and ohana and all this kind of stuff so now it was kind of like an honorable mention Go to Sanaa mm -hmm. over Boma if you've had a ton of buffets. It's or well, go to Sanaa if over Boma if you are going with non picky years. Yes, because it's, Boma it's has better. Boma has at least a lot of things for ki kids or people who don't like African Indian blend food. Whereas Sanaa was it's only that you could get off the kids menu, but if you're an adult, like. If you if you want a full adult meal, Sanaa yeah. is all. I mean, you can get a burger, but even the burger is like spiced with certain yeah. cheeses and stuff like that. Yeah. So we got the non service, which they have a vegan, allergy friendly non, and so you get like five pieces of bread, and they have I think five different kinds, and then the allergy. So I got three allergy, and you guys got like garlic, got garlic, like, and we each, me and Haley, each had just one piece of bread, and which that, their bread is bigger, than and that allergy. lasted us all nine dips. Like I was like, oh my god, one piece of bread, like this is not gonna yeah. work out. No, all we I was able to dip in all nine sauces like four times over. Eight out of the nine sauces are vegan. One of them is yogurt, yogurt. so obviously. And then we got the pochi inspired meals, which for twenty six dollars you pick a protein and a vegetable. But for me in summer we just pick two vegetables. And you get like they come in little cups, and you get those two and rice, rice. and you like mix it all together. Yeah, I dump the rice, and then oh. next time if we go, I will order literally just two of the coconut curry yeah. little dishes. I like literally forget what I got. I know one had peanuts and like oak, or no, they like, cashews and okra. It was a cashew okra and tomato stew, uh -huh. and I completely forget the other thing that I got. Um, and then I got that mousse dessert. That was oh really yeah, good. that's where the dessert. That was my different dessert. They had a uh, a uh, tap no a uh, a rice pudding made with coconut milk. Uh, so that was awesome. That was a different dessert. So that was all our table service. I just want to do a quick run through of what we got counter service wise and snack wise. I guess we could do highlight. Highlight reel? Let's do it. Yeah, highlight reel. Um, um, veggie burgers at quick services at like your hotel. Always reliable for vegans. They'll mm -hmm. make it in the back. I add all stars pop and and vegan at Riverside. No, I wasn't. Anyway, so at Pop and All Stars, they will make them back for you. They'll do whatever. Mm -hmm. So, always, you can always guarantee that. Right. Um, let me see some. Oh, highlights. Counter service. I was so shocked at this. Pinocchio Village House has a vegan Caprizi flatbread. It's under the milk allergy. It's made with a rice milk crust with daya cheese and like the same balsamic thing and the tomatoes. So 
good. I like actually crave it sometimes. I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. There's a lot more vegan options in Magic Kingdom now with that and Pecosville and Pecosville, I don't know. And Columbia Harbor oh. House with the chili and stuff. Like 10 out of 10 oh, would Columbia, recommend. Columbia Harbor House, I have the Lighthouse Sandwich, which is my probably my favorite quick serve thing in Disney World. We got that this time. Um, we went to Landscape of Flavors. We oh, walked yeah. across the bridge. Um, I really like that food court. I liked that food court better than Pop. Pop was just... Resort food courts are pretty basic. I don't really like eating at them. I'd rather eat in the parks. I'd rather eat in the parks, but like also I don't mind the food. Oh yeah, no, have. I don't mind it. It's just like at the end of the day, it's like a veggie burger, a veggie sandwich, or yeah. like pizza. Ooh. Um, the crabless cakes at the what is, oh the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. We I keep thinking food and wine. We were there on the last day of Flower and Garden, and they had crabless cakes, which vegan. were made with veganese, veganese, and artichokes. Something like that. They tasted like crab it cakes. It was real. so weird. And that so good. So good. Um, Cause that's one thing that at Epcot is I feel like there aren't a lot of vegan options. Uh, especially snacking around the world. It's really just drinks. The beignets at French Quarters, you can get them vegan and they literally taste exactly the same. And you can get a dipping sauce on the side. Uh, so we got raspberry. So for the beignets and the sauce, for one pack credit, it was six over six bucks. Um, and I will talk more about that in the how we made the Disney dining plan work. What are baby cakes? Baby cakes were okay. My one bad cast member experience. These were the little cupcakes, the oh, kind of cupcakes. I and I go up to, I, it said a snack credit on them, because they were like six dollars. They said snack credit on them in the resort thing that they were in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And I go up and the lady's like, just so you know, these aren't snack credits. And I was like, mm, that's what it says. She's like, well, from now on, they're not snack credits. I was like, you're 19. Like, when did you make the rules of this? But I didn't get them ever That again. is not correct. That is not correct. Yeah, dining plan was a really positive experience. My stomach literally just growled thinking about all this food. My mouth was like We really watering. liked it. And what we did for the the tips is that we did a rough estimate um, of how much all the table service would cost. We just went on all years and just looked at kind of what it might be and then times it by point by 20, 18 or 20 percent and then divided by three and we each brought gift cards with that. And we pretty much made it. The only reason we didn't make it is because um, Ohana was a little bit more than Crystal Palace would have been, and so now we got the Red Zeros. I guess this is really it for this video. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay along for this dining series, uh, just a reflection on everything. If you've ever been to any of these restaurants, leave a comment down below if you've had good experience or good experiences or bad experiences. I'm definitely curious because, you know, it's oh. not perfect. And what's your favorite table service in Epcot? Because we were realizing oh, that yeah. we like don't really eat at Epcot. And we like, I want next time whenever we go back to like explore some of that. I want to try Coral Reef. That looks pretty good. Okay. And I don't think I've, we've been in that like section of the park. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. Make sure to comment. I love reading your comments. And I will see you next video. Bye.